Hmm, there's a new Nintendo Switch model. I gotta tell him about this. Have you seen the new Nintendo Switch model? What? They released a new Switch model? Yeah, it's called the Nintendo Switch OLED model, with OLED being in parentheses. The hell? They really didn't have any other ideas for a better name? Heh, <laughs> they're probably saving the better name for the next Switch model because this one's pretty disappointing. Really? What new stuff does it offer? A larger OLED screen, 64GB of storage, more battery, and a larger kickstand. That's all. Bruh, you're joking. What's the new price? Well, it's $349, which is 50 more than the original price. An extra $50 for those lame features? Oh, and the Switch dock has a built-in Ethernet port. That doesn't even count as a feature because that's just the dock, not the actual console itself. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty lame. Yeah, well, there's already a lot of people trying to sell their old Switch so that they can have money to buy the new one. You better hop on the train. I don't need to do that because I already upgraded to the Animal Crossing Switch last year. Oh, sh you're right. I should probably list mine on eBay. The battery on here sucks. The Joy-Cons keep drifting. Yeah, I should probably upgrade. A few moments later. Alright, I'm done listing my Switch. Now to wait. One week later. Okay, let's see how my eBay listing did. What? Only three views? Ugh, how do I get more people interested in my product? Is it recording? Yeah. Hello eBay customers! Today I'm going to be showing you why you should purchase my Nintendo Switch regular model. Yeah, let's get on with the video. How do you turn this off? First off, the Nintendo Switch is a console that you can play at home or take anywhere to go. It comes off the dock which allows you to play it portably which can be useful for situations like this. Hey, yeah, go outside right now. You play game too much. Fine. Since the Nintendo Switch is a portable console, obviously it needs to be charged. However, Nintendo decided to ditch the proprietary charges generation and went with a universal USB-C port. This allows support for other devices like USB controllers, USB headphones, and so on, so you can plug in all of your favorite devices. As you can see, USB. Come on, why won't it get in? Oops, my bad, I forgot this was a USB-C port and not regular USB. I'll just use my generic and unbranded USB-C adapter from China. There we go, now we can plug in our USB devices. Anyway, the Nintendo Switch also has this quirky feature that allows you to use it as a portable charger. I'm not sure if this is an intended feature or a bug, but it certainly is nice to have a portable charger. What? The adapter killed my Switch? Ugh. Stupid Chinese technology! Inside the system settings, you can enable the zoom option, which allows you to zoom in to stuff. I don't know why you'd need that, but accessibility is important, right? Do not smash? Why would the Nintendo Switch tell me to not play Smash Bros? I'm probably just reading it wrong. Let me zoom in. Do smash. Got it. One feature that many people like about the Switch is that it has a headphone jack, unlike most modern smartphones. Can't wait to play 1-2 Switch. Mmm, milk that cow. Oh my god, is that an ice cream truck? Okay, maybe it wasn't a good idea to use wired headphones. But good thing the Switch supports Bluetooth audio. F 
Nintendo added an update to the Switch that allows you to use Bluetooth audio four years after release. Better late than never. This is so much more convenient than using wired headphones. Ugh, I need to get some water. Hey, yeah! Wireless devices, Bluetooth radiation cause cancer! You guys too! The Nintendo Switch is a pretty large console. I mean, look at how wide this thing is. Sure, it's gonna reduce the portability by a bit because of the large size, but that can be useful in some situations. Man, why is this brake so hard to use? I can barely scoop anything. What is that? This seems much more useful. Yeah, this works much better! The Nintendo Switch allows you to take off these controllers. They're called Joy-Cons. With this in mind, you can easily give your controller to another friend and play multiplayer. It's unique because other handheld consoles requires you to have another handheld console to play multiplayer. Hey, you wanna play something? I got my Switch with me. Sure, alright. Later. Ha! You're in last place! Ugh, he's so annoying. How can I annoy him back? <gasps> I got it! But bro, stop doing that! What are you gonna do about it, huh? Ugh, you're so annoying. Well then maybe you should swap Joy-Cons with me so I can be in first place. If it'll make you stop screenshotting, then fine! Ugh, this one sucks, it keeps drifting. Bro! Okay, so we talked about multiplayer with the Joy-Cons, but now let's talk about motion control with the Joy-Cons. Yep, you heard that right. Motion control still exists in 2021. You can play very popular games like Mario Tennis. Sadly, the Nintendo Switch only comes with 32GB of storage, which is kind of worthless in 2021, but you can upgrade that with an SD card. Wow, really? Yep, the SD card is in the back underneath the insanely weak kickstand. Huh, that's so easy. It's not working. Uh, it only works with micro SD cards. Oh, silly me. Ugh, you're f***ing lying to me! Ah, chill bro, I'm only getting paid under minimum wage! The regular Nintendo Switch has an LCD screen, which may sound like a bad thing when in comparison to the OLED model of the Switch, but LCD screens are actually more durable than OLED screens. Sure, Nintendo products are already very durable, but you can never have a product be too durable for situations like this. Yo, what's up guys? Techfrax here. Today we're doing a screen durability test on the regular Nintendo Switch. Here I have a metal ball. Three, two, one. 
as you can see, the Nintendo Switch did a very good job of surviving. But we need to try that again because this is a very common problem for many people across the world. But this time, I'm only going to drop it by a little bit. Three, two, one. The Nintendo Switch has this pretty cool extension you can buy for it called the Nintendo Labo. It's literally $70 cardboard which got discontinued. Although it's been discontinued, you can still replicate the Nintendo Labo experience by using your own cardboard or by pretending to play its mini games. Okay, it's time for some Nintendo Labo Piano. Hey, yeah, is that the piano I hear? <laughs> I signed you up for an Asian piano lesson, okay? What? I'm not that Asian, Mom. Huh? What do you mean? A feature that many people are unfamiliar with is that the Switch actually supports USB keyboards. We're gonna try playing it on our brand new keyboard from Walmart. Wow, this is awesome. Can't wait to play games with the keyboard instead of using my Joy-Cons. Okay, let's try playing with the keyboard. Uh, why is my character not moving? God damn it, did Nintendo only add keyboard support for typing and not playing? Ugh. Many handheld consoles have the control button slotted to the console itself, which increases repairability difficulty. However, these Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons separate, meaning they come off really easily. What a great console! Maybe it comes off too easily. And for some reason, you can read the news on your Switch. Huh. The Nintendo Switch claims to be waterproof? Let's give it a try. Can't wait to wash my dirty Switch. I can finally have a clean Switch again. Hopefully this will make all the eBay customers buy it. Man, it feels clean already. It's ignoring my dirty touches, which means it must be very clean. Oh, it thinks there's headphones in there. Clean the Joy-Cons too. And this one, which has no cover. Oh, it's still working somehow. Okay, it looks like I put a little bit too much water on there because the speaker stopped working. Listen, there's no sound. How will I get the water to exit the speakers? This will dry my switch. Three, two, one. And big reveal. Oh my God, it's still working. Well, the left Joy-Con finally budged. The switch is still a little wet. Let's try again. My neighbor is looking at me. I can see her through the window. Oh my god, it's still working. I think the touchscreen finally died. We should do the final part of the drying process. Let's do a flip. Oh my god. Okay, let's take this off. Wow, look at that. I did successfully clean my switch. Okay, I'm giving this thing one more chance to obliterate. I'm taking off the Joy-Con for minimum protection. Wait, I feel like it's not working. Wait, did this thing actually die? Okay, let's just throw it one more time for a good measure. 
three, two, one. Well, that didn't really work out. My switch still looks kind of dirty, and that won't turn on. Hmm, that must mean there's still some water in it. Maybe that last technique I tried wasn't a good method of drying. What's a better way of drying it? I got it. Nintendo Switch, a drying rack to dry the Switch faster, and in you go. God damn it, it won't balance! All right, let's do this. Ooh, look at that distorted Switch logo. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you for 69,000 subscribers, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, so before I smash this switch, I just want to clarify that this is my friend's old switch. Last year, I bought him the Animal Crossing switch after I saw that it was still being sold after like a year and a half. So I bought him that and I bought one for myself too. So I bought two Animal Crossing switches, one to replace my old switch and one to replace his old switch. That's why I have two Animal Crossing switch boxes. The other one is right here. I replaced my Switch because I kind of wanted to install a hacked custom firmware on here without having the risk of getting my main account banned online. So this is my hacked Switch and this is my main Switch. And his old Switch is being replaced because it's pretty worn down. The Joy-Cons will drift non-stop. Look at this. It just won't stop drifting no matter what. The battery is a bit degraded and also the Joy-Cons come up pretty easily. So yeah, I replaced his Switch for him without making him pay anything because him giving me his old Switch to smash for a video is already his payment. Wow, there's no visible damage. I'm surprised, but at the same time, I'm not surprised. Because this is a Nintendo product and they're known to be durable, but surprised because this cheap Chinese screen protector didn't crack. Let's try that again. Free stylus. Three, two, one. Oh, I think it finally died. No! Maybe it just shut off. Let me try rebooting it. Okay. Look at that. A circular crack. It's almost like a perfect circle too. That's really interesting. Three, two, one. Ooh, look at my nails. Also, I cracked my $400 camera while making this video. H. U. A. H. U. A. H. Ow! How dare you burn me! Oh my god, do you hear that? The, the blue Joy-Con is still alive. Like, the, the HD rumble is trying to, like, vibrate. Die! Die! Maybe I need some fuel. Let's cook the screen. Maybe we need some more fuel. If this thing explodes in my garbage can, then uh, I don't know what to do. Just for fun, I'm gonna take this brick and... Huh, surprisingly, the switch can still stand up correctly. Not anymore! Oh! Do you hear that? Maybe I should hold the power button? Okay, yeah, now I'm actually done with the switch.